Accepting what is while maintaining your truth is the combination that forms your divinity. One of the greatest skill and talents of the human mind is the ability to hold multiple seemingly opposite ideas together and allow them to coexist. The ability to accept that things can be beautiful and painful, true and untrue at the same time, is what defines the human's ability to adapt, grow, move forward, and create into our own divinity. When someone you love lies and hold back critical information from you, does it make their story which led them to the decision to lie or hold back information from you? Is that not their truth? Sometimes it is so difficult to fully understand why people do the things that they do and how they will react to what has been done to them does not mean it is not their truth. When finding out later on in life you were adopted, that one parent is not your biological or your sister, brother, is really your cousin, does that make the person horrible from keeping their truth away from you? When your significant other cheats, Does that diminish the love they have for you? When you're going through hell, world is crashing down around you. Do you give up? Does that make the experience unworthy? Can religion, atheists, and science coexist? Can the poor, middle class, and rich coexist? Can your opinion and their opinion coexist? Does good and bad coexist in all of us? During our human experience, one thing is certain, we are affected by multiple people and their multiple truths coexist in the making of who we are, whether we like it or not, whether we agree with it or not. When we are born, we are created with two sets of chromosomal DNA that can be traced back to four additional sets combined with multiple sets that we represent and trace back to the beginning of our lineage. We are not linear beings. We do not act on instinct, nor are we creatures of habit. We are abstract, complicated, and mysterious. We are chaotic, but orderly. With our minds, we explore and reason. With our thoughts, we create. And through our physique, we build. We are multiple dimensional beings with all truth, being represented within us. One way does not represent the only way. His story does not neglect her story. Your education does not enlighten you more than my acquired knowledge. Your success as an entrepreneur does not supersede my climb up the corporate ladder. Your strength does not overshadow my weakness. Your success does not override my failures. Your luck does not rise above my hardships. Your religion does not diminish my God. And when it rains in the Bronx, does not necessarily mean it is also raining in Brooklyn. We as humans are so complex and beautiful that multiple troops can coexist within one, which will not lead to the demise of another, but will codify, unify, and share in the understanding of the makeup of who we really are. Knowing this will change the way we handle and approach the multiple aspects of truth that comprises us 
without it destroying, confusing, or overwhelming us. In life, we often find ourselves navigating through our highs and lows, confronting multiple challenges simultaneously, while also triumphing over formidable lessons and achieving success all at the same time. This multifaceted experience can significantly impact our mental stability, whether for better or worse. Dealing with multiple events can sometimes make it challenging to establish a stable foundation upon which we can confidently stand. It can be difficult to discern which situations or issues deserve our primary focus. Living in survival mode helps in perpetrating an environment where it may seem as if our emotions are untamed, unrestrained, ungoverned, and beyond our control, contributing to a sense of turmoil. Living in creation mode helps in perpetrating an environment where it may seem as if we are never satisfied and always searching for more and more and always doing more and more to exhaustion. The key in life is balancing of everything we have experienced, everything we have created, and the multiple people we have to deal with in a way where the duality is in the middle of the pole, leaving both sides equal to one another. Since we carry two sets of chromosomal DNA from both parents, whether we like it or not, we become the product of our parents. During our upbringing, it is evident that everyone around us had an influence on us, shaping and molding the person we are today. Our minds are molded by the experiences and culture we are around. Our hearts are shaped by the lack of or love received. Our religious belief is implanted within us by others. What happens to us in our infancy to young adulthood is strictly out of our control because we are dependent on the people that directly or indirectly have the responsibility of protecting and guiding us. If these same people subject us to harm, abuse, and neglect, it's not wrong or right. It's not bad or good. It's just what it is. Either it's because they were exposed to the same treatment or mental and substance abuse has awoken the beast that lives, unfortunately, in all of us, if not contained or controlled. But when understanding who we are, we first have to look back at what took place in our past and by who, without blame and without sensitive emotions. You are beginning to let multiple truth coexist within you. Most times we will not nor do we share the horrors that happens to us. We act them out. Back to looking at the people responsible for us. Look at the person who neglected you. You will find their truth on how they were neglected. Unable to give or show love because it was never given or shown to them. Those who were told you were never going to become anything or told that you were hated and not wanted, it's because those same words was told to the person telling you. If you were suppressed to express yourself, it's because the person doing the suppression was also unable to express themselves. And unfortunately, the family legacy continues of being talked to instead of communicating with, of being seen but not heard, of knowing your place and staying there. If a person did not grow up in a healthy, firm, and stable environment, they too will carry the seed that was implanted generations ago of violation, self-hatred, and deceit. Not understanding this is what leads to all of our problems that we have to deal with in adulthood. So the blame starts, right? And that blame will never end. 
and we carry that blame, which will influence everything we do, becoming the product of that blame. And you guessed it, we will cause someone else to turn around and blame us for what they had to suffer. No matter how we try to escape what is or put in the deepest, furthest part of our subconscious to forget, we represent and demonstrate all that we have been exposed to and that becomes our truth and the person or people who exposed us have their own truth. These truths cannot be judged or neglected. The problem is not letting multiple truths coexist because of blame. But to solve that problem is balancing out the realization that everyone's story is their own truth that affects everyone around them. From the disappointment of our parents, the failure on their part to parent the way we think we needed to be parented to aunts and uncles and brothers and sisters instead of loving us, abusing us. Back to the grandparents, the void to secure and protect us from the wrongs, allowing the lies, deceit, and cover-ups to continue. Because we have been programmed to believe there's only one truth, which is ours, we can't accept anyone else's truth. But once we change the way we think, we begin to realize instead of criticizing and blaming, we discuss with understanding, not judging or disagreeing, not forgiving nor accepting, just listening, just learning. The saying, I made a mistake, I'm only human, is a downgrade to what the human spirit is. But to say this was my mistake to make and learn from and not to repeat or pass it on is the true nature of the human to propel to greater heights. Our mistakes, mishaps, and uncertainty is not a product of being human. It is the process humans must go through to rise up into their own divinity. Having the combination of being steady and strong, but also flexible and yielding. Tapping into the surrender of the hurt and pain, combined with the commitment of strength needed to discover, embrace, and heal from, is the divinity of man. When we understand how to embrace all truths that has affected us, lives inside us, and express through us, we start the process of discovering who we truly are because the search for your truth will uncover multiple truths, whether we agree or not with them. Whether we accept our truths, we allow them to coexist, accepting the fact that we are not linear beings, but lateral thinking humans trying to find the balance of what we were exposed to to controlling what we will amount to. Once this is acknowledged, the confusion of uncertainty vanishes and what we are left with is the reality of self. It is a mere understanding of accepting what is, remaining calm enough for analysis and moving forward once the solution becomes visible to us. Whatever we are going through, everyone's truth must be recognized and respected. And when not, that is where the lies of life forms and creates a barrier between accepting all truths and allowing them to coexist versus rejecting some truths and dismissing reality, which will only invoke mental illness within us. Stay healthy, explore all that you are, and try to live out the better version of you.